soil ecology and microbiology, it's a very interesting topic. If you're into that stuff, there's a really good book called The Soil Food Web Primer. But let's dive into this question a little bit more. So when we think of mulch, inorganic mulches, we generally put those into two categories. So black plastic mulch is extruded polyethylene. They dye it with carbon, so it's black. It's mostly impervious, so rainfall won't go through, but there can be some vapor exchange from the soil. It's generally used with subsurface drip irrigation that's laid down prior to establishment of the beds or at the same time. Generally used in annual systems like vegetable crops. Depending on how thick it is, it might survive more than one season, but generally not very long-lived product. Landscape fabric, on the other hand, which we more commonly see for non-annual or perennial plantings, can come in a woven fabric that oftentimes has these green lines on it, which can help you with spacing. But there's also spun polyester materials. There is some permeability. It's not going to be the same as rain falling on bare soil but there is some infiltration of the rainfall there. This stuff is designed to last for multiple years and irrigation, whether it's drip lines or some kind of emitters are generally, for the most part, ran above this stuff. So black plastic mulch, we do have some data on that, on how it impacts soil temperature. And black plastic mulch heats the soil through conduction. So that means that as the black plastic mulch is hugged against the soil, the heat from that black plastic mulch that comes from the sun is transferred into the thermal mass of the soil. So this heats best when it's tightly formed to the bed. And if you've ever seen a video of this stuff being laid, it's almost stretched over the top of the bed. So we can see here, how does that impact soil temperatures? So black plastic mulch, if we look at the top here, there's bare ground. So the average soil temperature and bare ground at two inches was 76 for a low and 100 for a high, whereas our black plastic mulch was 80 for low and 109 for a high. So you can see the maximum is nine degrees higher than bare soil. Just as a general rule of thumb, very general, uh, soil microbes are most active from 65 to 80 degrees. Now, landscape fabric, there's really not a lot of available data that I could find for soil temperatures under landscape fabric. Because it's not installed to where it's really tightly hugging the beds, it's probably likely less of an elevation in soil temperature because the conductive ability just isn't there when it's not tightly formed to the bed. If organic mulches are used on top, that will block the sunlight and reduce the soil temperature. So we do have data on black plastic mulch, but not so much on landscape fabric. Some considerations with using landscape fabric. It is going to degrade over time. It's not a secret weapon to fight weeds. It can help greatly but weed seeds will be blown in over time. If you have organic mulch on top and the weed seeds blow in, they can germinate and establish. Aggressive weeds do have the ability to push through this stuff from the bottom or root through it from the top. If you do have to remove it, it can be very difficult to remove and get all the materials out of the soil because there's not organic matter degrading on the soil surface. When this mulch is installed, there can be some degradation of soil structure over time. And without the organic mulches on top, the microclimate around the plants will be elevated in temperature, even though it's not as tightly hugging the soil as black plastic mulch. So what really impacts soil ecology and soil microbial communities? So things like soil moisture, soil temperature, vapor exchange. So, you know, the gases that are produced in the soil, are they able to go upward? Are the gases in the atmosphere able to interface with the soil? and also the presence of plant roots. So there's lots of things that impact soil ecology. And when we think about soil ecology, that's not just the microbes, the fungi and the bacteria, but also some of our invertebrate arthropods and other higher level organisms like protozoa. So I did look at some data that some work had been done on this. Um, Black plastic mulch can decrease the population of soil invertebrates. So I showed a picture of springtail and other arthropods that can decrease their population. This is black plastic mulch, keep that in mind, not landscape fabric. Because it does raise the soil temperature, soil microbial activity is actually increased in the early part of the season when the bare ground soil temperatures are cooler. 
but it is decreased during the hottest part of the season. And there's also some impacts related to soil moisture and whether sunlight is on that soil or not. The short answer is it's complicated. It might be favoring certain parts of the soil food web and negatively impacting other parts of the soil food web. The temperatures are two inches deep, so the soil temperatures are going to be lower the deeper you get. So I think the, the short answer is it has impacts on soil ecology and soil microbial communities, but what those impacts are and how that affects plant growth is not fully understood. Black plastic mulch and vegetable production systems has been around for a long time, and it has been shown to increase yield of vegetable crops. Organic mulches, however, we always encourage folks to use organic mulches. I found some data from Michigan State that said there was an 18 degree reduction in soil temperature versus bare soil, kind of in that midsummer, midday time. If you're using landscape fabric with organic mulches on top, as long as those organic mulches are fully blocking the sunlight, you're probably dealing with reduced soil temperatures in that system as well. Organic mulches also help moderate fluctuations in soil moisture as the soil is not drying out as quickly after a rainfall or irrigation event. These organic mulches do feed soil organisms and you don't have to worry about legacy materials like landscape fabric that gets broken apart and plastic fibers that end up in the soil over time.